up for you guys, Mike here, your host in Mixed TV. For all of you guys who subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. For those who haven't subscribed yet, please, please like, share, and hit the subscribe button to get more access to my other videos. Okay. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about oiled app version two. So I did promise from my last video when, when we launched oiled app application for Android that I'm gonna be coming up with upgrades and improvements and new features for the oiled app application. Unfortunately, uh, I still have no iOS version of the app, but soon oh, enough, no. that should be because I'm already starting, I already started learning iOS. So just be patient and probably get into that version sooner or later. But for now, let's focus on version 2. Okay? So, for those who haven't installed the app for version 1, you probably would haven't seen the version 1 yet. So, this is how it looks like. Alright, so, um, it's very simple. Um, as you see, there are some animations there when you see the, the, the first screen. And, uh, and then the logos and then there's two options there where you get a button to start the application, get oily, and uh, a checkbox says reload oily data. So, uh, the problem that we had in the first version was distribution because we are not, we haven't uploaded this to Google Play Store. So I basically uh, streamlined this version too to make sure that there are no other um, unwanted uh, uh, third-party methods in the program that's gonna cause Google to reject the application. So fingers crossed you should be able to we, we should be able to publish it to Google Play Store and everyone should be able to get access to the application. But for now let's look at the old uh, the old the version one. So as you can see it's, it's very plain and simple. The first one you will see is flash the flash screen and then you will see the categories and popular products. Alright so fairly simple and then you check you Click the checkbox reload with the data if you want to reload new data. Alright, same again, we still have the data that we have are still from Malaysia and the Philippines. And I heard that Australia and US are almost finished. Alright, so how does version 2 look like? Well, what are the changes? Alright, so here it goes. It changed the interface. Basically. I changed the login, so there, there, sorry, there's no login. I changed the splash screen. So when I was using it, because I'm myself is a regular user, I'll use it a lot to refer to some prices, comparison. Whenever there are people who are asking me about certain oils and they want to know the prices, I go and check the application and, and check it there. And every time I see the splash screen. I, I, I get tired of looking at it because it's like you can see the, the page over and over again which is the same thing. In this app you would see different kind of pages every time you, you launch the application. So at least it will be like every time you run the application it will, be, it, it will look like it's a different application all in one. But when you look at the app it will already tell you or whoever sees the app will already tell you that it is a long living application. All right, so that's, that's, the, that's the first change. Nothing much has changed on how you access the application. You still click the get for the, you still um, change the reload oily data. Basically that's it, and then a different logo. So when you click get oily, you will be taken to a full screen of categories. It's totally different now. So the whole screen is your category. You swipe left, you swipe right, you see that the picture or the image and the background is changing it's based on the category and then as you can see the popular products are now hidden so it's not in the way so you can actually click it to show it and then you can scroll left uh, scroll left scroll right to click on popular products it's basically the same it's just that it's out of the way now and it's just giving you the whole screen to to swipe left and swipe right to choose the category where you want to start off so basically, it's almost the same. It's just that different. It, it looks different. All right. 
And then of course the the copyright icon it's still there it's on the upper right portion of the screen and then when you click it you will see some information about the application and how you're gonna support it all right so there's a big button on the screen itself a very a big round button a floating button that takes you to the actual category screen so this screen doesn't didn't change much but it as an addition now, as you can see, there's a virtual cart. And there are arrows left and then an arrow right on every item that is shown on the screen. So the arrow left, if you swipe the product on the left, it will add it to your DIYs. If you swipe the item to your right, it will add it to the virtual cart. All right. So because I had some, I had some problems when I want to build up my next order which is a minimum of 100 PV or so and I want to choose which which products would, would accumulate 100 PV so I play around with, with the list that I have and then add it to my virtual card and then from there I would see the total as you can see right now uh, I can increase the number of uh, count for the item I would see the totals the total PV the total amount on where the currency is so it will turn red if it's below 100 it will turn green if it's above 100 or equal to 100 and then you can like swipe left and swipe right if you want to remove the item from the list from the virtual card or just click on plus and minus if you want to add or subtract uh, an item so it also the swipe action is also available on the, the, the description tab so it's basically swipe left if you want to add it to the DIY and swipe right to add it to your virtual card. You can click on the item to see the detail of the information. As you can see, you will see whether the, de the item is redeemable. You will see whether it's diffusible, it's ingestible, it's topical, the size. And from there, you would also see the member price, the retail price, and the PV, uh, uh, PV points, PV value. And from there as well, you can add, there's a button that says that you can add it to your filter cart as well and then to your DIY. Right, so from, from, from the get-go, when you see the item, you will be able to identify whether the item is redeemable or not. You can add it from there. From there, you can add it to the virtual cart and to your DIY. Alright, so those are changes that are, I would say, quite very important for me. I added the feature of search because aside from the filter, the filter is a, a bit um, tedious to do, um, but it does what it's expected to do. You can filter based on the usage or on, on the category or, or based on the country, you will still be using it. But if you want to do searches to specific products, items, descriptions, prices, or point value, you can actually do it straight away from the listing. So the first, the first search criteria would be based on the product name. So just the, uh, the type the product name or a word that is in the product name, it will show up. Just like now, aroma, I type aroma, any product that has the aroma word in it will appear. All right, or ilang ilang. If you type YL and then you go and search, of course it will give you ilang ilang. That's the only product that has YL in it. All right, the second one is you can search by description. So if you're looking for, 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 for products or oils or anything else that uh, you know the usage or you're, you're not, you don't know what, uh, what is it for. You just want oils that are aromatic. So type aroma and then it, the app will search all the description of the product that has the aroma word in their description. All right, so that's very useful. For example, I want to to search uh, a product that has a description where the word scent is in there all right so it will list down all the products in this category that has scent in its description isn't that like easier to easier than the filter of course because if you have that word in mind if you have that 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 keyword in mind you can just simply search it from the, the description itself. Alright, the third one is based on point value. 
I've been asked about this. How uh, filtering is very difficult. I know because you have to drag the the gauge. But what if you can filter? I mean, what, what if you can search based on the value itself? So when you search by, by um, point value, right? Point value will uh, the search will always be the amount, the number is uh, that is less than that particular. Uh, sorry, the value that you put in will be less than or equal to that value. So, um, for example, I searched uh, by point value. Then I put in 20. So all the products that will appear will be having a point value that is less than or equal to 20. All right? And then you go and search, and then it will list down all the products or the items that is that the point value is less than or equal to 20. And then furthermore, it will be sorted based on the point value increasing, uh, yeah, increasing, incremental. All right, and then if you change, you change it to like the lower value, then it will search anything that is less than that or equal to that number. All right, so of course, the same applies for member price. So if you put in a value, for example, 50 or 30, uh, anything that the price is less than or equal to 30. So if you're in Malaysia, it's 30 ringgit. So then you will get the result and it will be quicker than the filter itself. Of course, if you're looking for, if you're trying to search for items or products that are in not, not in your country, of course you have to use the filter because you have to filter based on the country. But if you're only looking for the products that are in your country, you don't need to do the filter. You can just straight away do a search. It's very helpful because sometimes I don't know which oils are, am I looking for? Right? So sometimes uh, um, you are looking for a specific um, oil that does specific stuff, right? Or it's very basic, like for example, you want to search aromatic oils or something that's for stress or muscle or respiratory or relaxant or, or any word, any keyword that could be in the description of that. You can just go and search it and it will provide you the information, right? So the DIY, I haven't done the DIY yet, but basically it's, uh, it's almost similar to the virtual cart, but I prioritize the virtual cart and the search because uh, me as a user of the app, I find it very useful for me because every time I try to search for, an, for a product, I, I wish I have that search and now it's there and then um, I had my first month that I had to purchase my first ER. I had to figure out what to buy, and then I had to figure out um, the total uh, 100 PV worth of product that I need to buy, or or the amount that I wanted to, to spend. Then I can do my virtual virtual cart, and then it will be there. The thing about that is every time you create a virtual cart, it's saved automatically until unless you remove everything, but it's saved, so it can be your reference for the following month. All right. So basically, those are the the enhancements and, and the upgrades that was put in in version two. Uh, I did I did mention that there should uh, there would be a Facebook integration and then the DIY and um, yeah. Uh, so I think that would come later on. So basically, that's it. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope um, you guys appreciate the efforts that I put into this app. And I hope you guys, whoever uh, managed to install the version 1, will still follow and install version 2. And for those who haven't installed them, I'm going to share uh, a quick link. If it doesn't work for you guys, I'm sorry, but we're going to post it in Google Play Store. But again, for iOS, uh, wait. Um, I'm still learning iOS and hopefully, you know, anytime soon I should be able to develop the same, uh, I mean, the version of Oil App version 2 in iOS. Alright, so if you have questions, or comments or suggestions uh, that you might want to see in the app just let me know put the comments down below and I will look into them and uh, like um, the only request that I have if, if you see this video if you like the app if you're following the app if you're using the app please subscribe to my channel that's the only thing I'm asking for and support this channel so that I can support you 
by continue building this uh, this app. Okay, so um, that's all for the video, and that's all for all the app version two. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, by the way, I'm currently diffusing uh, peppermint. It's really, really nice smell, and uh, it's very relaxing. And uh, don't forget like share and subscribe for those who haven't subscribed yet and for all of you guys thanks for watching uh, stay safe stay at home and uh, always always follow protocol all right and i'll see you around and i'll see you on the next vlog cheers bye